guys, ready for models? Let's help you with this video. I want to focus on the expression of obligation, prohibition, lack of obligation and advice. As you can see in the chart, the obligation can be expressed with must and have to, the lack of obligation with don't have to, advice with should and prohibition with mustn't. Our first point is obligation. Situations native speakers use must and have to with similar meanings, we are going to try to understand the slight differences that there are between them. Let's go for the first one, must. We use must when we as speakers have decided that we must do something because of our personal needs. It's something personal. Imagine it's your boyfriend's birthday and you say, I must buy a present for my boyfriend. Really, it's something personal. There is no rule in that. Another example, imagine you are dying for a tattoo and you definitely decide to go for it. And you borrow money from your friend and you say, oh, I must pay him back. Why? Because it's something you have decided. We also use must to express official rules. So it's very common to see must in signs. Let's imagine that unfortunately because of the coronavirus, you have to go to the to hospital and you will see signs such as you must wear a mask or you must keep social distancing. The second modal verb I mentioned for obligation is have to. Have to is impersonal. In that sense, it's different to the examples we have seen before. In the case of have to, the obligation is external. Someone else has decided for you and perhaps even there may be consequences. Imagine you are in a Google Meet lesson and you know that you have to switch on the camera for the teacher. So you say, I have to switch on the camera in the lesson or I have to wear glasses because I don't see a thing when I sit at the back of the class. A quick note for you. If you use have to in the future or in the past, you have a different form. You use, as you can see, had to for obligation in the past and will have to for obligation in the future. Examples. I had to learn to play the flute when I was in Segundo Naiso or rent a flat if I have evening lessons at the college. Well, now that we know how to express obligation, let's move on to the how to express lack of obligation. In fact, we have a few modal verbs that you can use to express lack of obligation. Definitely the most common ones is don't have to or doesn't have to. But as you can see in the diagram, you can also use neither and don't need to. The examples, as you can see, are here in the chart. As I told you before, we use don't have to or doesn't have to to express that something is not necessary. Imagine a situation, a Saturday night, and you say, I don't have to wake up tomorrow early in the morning. And then you feel happy about that. So it's a lack of obligation. In the opposite sense, when we want to express prohibition, then we use mustn't. Use mustn't to express that something is prohibited or forbidden. For example, you mustn't park your car in a disabled spot. Last but not least, we are reaching the last point of our video and its expression of advice. To express advice, we can use should or to or have better. We'll have a look at the three of them, but the most common one is should. Should or shouldn't to express our opinion and say that something is advisable or not, that you should do it or you shouldn't do it. For you wake up with fever and your mommy said you should go to the doctor. But native speakers also use to express a strong recommendations, must. Imagine a foreign friend comes to Murcia and you say you must try Paparajote. It's a must. We can also use have better to express advice and it's the meaning of sería mejor que, más vale que, es una buena idea que. First try, an easy one for you. 
you want to have some advice from a friend and you ask him or her, Pedro, what mm, I do? Think about it. You said shoes? Perfect, good job. What should I do? That's a very common question when you ask for advice. Imagine you want to watch a series with your friend, for example, Vikings, and you tell him or her, you mm -hmm, watch Viking if you don't feel like. What would you say in that example? Can I hear the don't have to? Excellent! That's the idea. We don't have to watch Vikings if we don't feel like to. To wrap up this video, we are going to summarize the main points. We have seen that we can use must for obligation, mustn't for prohibition, and should had better or ought to for advice. Well, that's all for now. Keep on working because practice makes perfect. La teacher los espera en los próximos videos. Mwah!